How you doing? This is Ivan from Bite Size Wisdom for Busy People and I'm back to share another idea to help you live more consciously. Today our topic is on how to avoid negative thoughts and feelings. On my channel I'm always talking about genuine, sincere self-observation because through self-observation we come to clearly see our negative states. If you have ever browsed YouTube and checked out other self-development or spiritual channels it's likely you've come across the importance of learning how to observe your thoughts and feelings but unfortunately a lot of these teachings don't give you the proper foundation they don't go deep enough because mere observation is not enough if you really want to change yourself and discover your higher being discover your real self so that's what I want to talk about today is going a little bit further and giving you additional insight into really observing yourself so I also suggest that you check out my essential self-development playlist if this is your first time here in that playlist you will find some videos on self-observation where you will learn how to properly observe yourself moment to moment objectively and I'll give you the key foundation and insights so that whatever I talk about today will make sense and then you can also reference this video later so in those videos, I also talk about the importance of creating an observer and an observed side in order to properly observe ourselves. And as we progress and we get better at observing ourselves moment to moment, this distinction will become much clearer, which will help us to create inner separation within us. And that's what I want to talk about today is really creating that inner separation, being clear. And this is the key idea the key teaching that a lot of the videos I was talking about miss I want to give you a little example that will make this distinction clear so a lot of people use the sky and clouds as an example of learning to observe your thoughts if I tell you that your real nature your higher being is like the clear blue sky and you learn to just observe the clouds go by so here your thoughts and feelings are the clouds but if you don't have the proper understanding of how your psyche works and have deeper insight in time you will just end up saying me to these clouds you'll say I to these clouds and if you say I to these clouds it means that you're taking these clouds to be who you are and this means that you are no longer objectively observing yourself. You're just going in a circle and, it, and observing has just become an intellectual exercise. So we need to create that clear distinction and inner separation because no one can separate himself from what he observes if he takes it to be himself. Because inevitably, as I illustrated with the sky and cloud example, whatever they're observing will eventually have the feeling of I flow into it and what you will do is just end up making whatever you observe stronger and give it more power so we need to get clear and be able to say this is not I with whatever we observe in our inner space so today's topic was on negative emotions so if I take my negative emotions just to be a bad side of my personality a bad side of who I am then I will not be able to separate clearly because I am taking these emotions to be who I am and that's what we got to realize is that I cannot change I if I say I to these thoughts to these emotions if I take them to be who I am then I am giving validity to them by saying I to them saying these are my thoughts these are my emotions and they will end up having power over me for example with our external world there's these people walking by right here I do not say oh that's I that's I that's me it's me it's I and other right the distinctions clear but with inner phenomena many of us with whatever pops up and that's the thing is that a lot of our thoughts and emotions are just random they just come from nowhere right but as soon as we say I to them we're giving them validity and they will end up having power over us and that's the key idea for today as far as how to avoid 
negative thoughts and feelings is that we got to get to the point where we clearly are able to say this is not I we have to no longer take them to be who we are at the identity level and as we get better at doing this we slowly start taking the feeling of I out of all our observations which means that we are learning to make our personality passive you can equate your personality to your conscious mind so as we make our personality more passive this freezes up internally it opens up a new energy within us gives us breathing room and we start to then get in tune and start to get a feel for our silent inner self our presence our beingness and this is when we start to really progress and start to head down the road of becoming a balanced human being we start to balance our essence and our personality but we need to be able to make that clear distinction with all inner phenomena and be able to say this is not I because like I said if any thought enters your inner space and you say I to it you are validating it by saying I to it and giving it identity saying that it is who you are and then therefore will have power over you you won't be able to avoid it and therefore you will have to suffer wherever that thought or emotion takes you and that's very important we have to clearly see that if we don't want to suffer from these negative emotions and thoughts because if you say I to them and then you also at the same time will say I need to get rid of them if you take them to be who you are since you are taking them to be who you are it will be impossible to just simply say I want to get rid of them using your conscious will so that's a key idea to understand all right guys that's it for today I know it's a lot if this is your first time um, but I hope you got some value from this video and stay tuned I will be going more in depth and clarifying a lot of these topics as we go along so wherever you are in the world I hope you're doing well if you're new to my channel please subscribe I'm in a little YouTube channel but I really appreciate you spreading the word and subscribing and until next time guys take care peace